Welcome back to our massive Kiddush Hashem over here uh, on this Matzah Yom Kippur uh, with uh, all our wonderful zero, Zoomers uh, uh, joining us and uh, before Kal Nidre I uh, mentioned that although Rab Levi Yitzhak Medvedicheva did not know what it means to go viral but Reb Levi Yitzhak Mavidichev did go viral before uh, Yom Tov, as we welcome in Sandy Grunfeld, and I wish him a gemar, a good and kvittel. Uh, Reb Levi Yitzhak Mavidichev has said something very sweet, that on a Yom Kippur that falls out on Shabbos, he's feeling very, very uh, hopeful for all of Klal Yisrael. He said, because on Yom Kippur, Hashem has to write us in either the book of life or the book of death. But on Shabbos, you're not allowed to write unless it's Pikuch Nefesh. So the only thing that he could write is in the Book of Life. He can't write into the Book of Death. So no, therefore... What? You can't, you can't write on Yom Kippur either. What? You can't write on Yom Kippur either. I guess he felt that Yom Kippur, it's the mitzvah of the Yom. So therefore, that's what the Rabbi Nishlam does. But Shabbos, it's not the mitzvah of the Yom. But anyway, I don't think that you're supposed to be Meshivan al but now you understand the answer anyway. Uh, the, uh, the, the, he's asking Akash, I don't know, I think people should die. But anyway, no, Reb Levi Yitzhak Nebedichva did not feel that way. Um, the, 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 uh, but anyway, um, my answer, by the way, is a good answer. Uh, um, the, uh, I don't think, Abba Shabbat Shalom is the answer on that one. <laughs> Rabbi, can I give you a name for uh, Yom Nishmar? Certainly. I interrupted you before. Uh, I, had, I had your site for my grandfather today on Yom Kippur, Zechariah ben Shapsai. Zechariah ben Shapsai is in Shamashid Avon Aliyah. He should be Melzioisha for his family, for all of us, and all of Kal Yisrael. Just hang on with that. Thank you. Thank you for the Yom Nishmar. Shalom Alman. I do have information. Some cipher said the only hate that we have left now is Chaim. Do you have information? She no. said I should let you know before you hear it. Okay. Okay, we have the tragic news that Shlaima Ullman passed away today. I birthday in Emmas. Nei sechot min achabura yedagu kol achabura. Shlaima Ullman was never... Ay, ay, ay. I mentioned the Manila, remember, right, when we say I had a bad feeling about it. Okay, four lines from the top of Kuf Tesam and Aleph. So says the Gemara, well, maybe I could spin the Pasuk a different way. Ema she'eroi zeha'ov. And it's coming to tell me, melamed she'ov koidem labas. That the father inherits even before the daughter. Yochel yaktem laben. I might think that the father of the deceased gets even before the son. Talmud loimer akarov karov koidem. Kavan says the Gemara, no, because by Yibam, there's no mitzvah of Yibam whether the deceased has a son or a daughter. The daughter also perpetuates the memory of the mace and makes Yibam unnecessary. So Kavan, the Le'inian, Yibam, Ben Ubaski, the son and the daughter on the same footing, both the son and the daughter. Uh, makes uh, Yibam unnecessary. When it comes to inheritance also, the son and daughter on the same footing that they inherit before the father. Says the Gemara, the Ema of, maybe we should extrapolate as follows, that the Sheiroi is the father, Melamed Sheov Koidim Ha'av, that the father gets before the uncle. Yochel yaktim la'achin. I might think maybe he gets 
before the brother of the deceased. Talmud Leimer, a curve, curve, kaidim. The the brother is closer, so, and the havamina the brother is closer is because the brother fulfills the mitzvah of yibam. Says the Gemara that it's kaidim achem achiyav that the father gets before the father's brothers. That we don't need a pasuk for. What would be the connection of the father's brother to the deceased? Only through the father. Because it's the father's brother. Who do they inherit because of? They only inherit because they're related to the father of the deceased. Would there be a, a havamina that of ka, that the father is around, and yar say achayav? That the uncle inherits, so we don't need a posik for that. So therefore, when it says Sha'ira, it's telling us that the father inherits before the brothers of the deceeds. Says the Gemara, If you analyze the posik, it mentions the uncle before the father. If there's no brothers to the father, then we give the Sha'ira Yakarav. So that implies that the, fa- the brother of the father gets before the father, if She'era is a father. Says the Gemara, Kroy Shalai Kisidrin. The Psukim are not in order. Like we say, Ein Seder Lamikra. Shalai Kisidrin Ksive. Now, the Gemara tells us that we're going to learn out from another source. Says the Gemara, How do we know that the father inherits before the brother? The high ton of Maisele Mehoch, the Tanya, as Zu Darish Rebbe Shmuel Rebbe Yaisi, Ish Kiyamis, if a man dies, Obein Ein Lai, and there's no son, Vahavartem es Nachalosay Lebitai, then we pass over the Nachala to the daughter. But Mokam Bas, Atamavir Nachala Minov. Only if there's a daughter do we skip the father. But we don't skip the father if there are because of brothers. Says the Gemara, maybe that's not what it means. Maybe if there's a daughter, we don't give to the brother. But but we don't. Uh, but we don't. Says the Gemara. Maybe, maybe the the father uh, gets before his daughter. Maybe the father gets before the deceased daughter. As the Gemara says, bas If there's a daughter, then we. Pass over the brother and give it to the daughter, but viyata maver nachalam and of, but we don't pass over the father afilu b'makom even if there's a daughter. Maybe the father should get before the deceased daughter. Says the Gemara, im kain. If that's the case, leinichtav rabchmana vahavartem. It should just say im ein ben unesatem es nachalasay lebitay. Why does it say Vimein Ben Vavartem es Nachalasi Lubita? So from the Havartem we darshan that if if the son, if no son, we pass over the father and give it to the daughter. But that's the only time we pass over the father. Says the Gemara, Ulaman de Nafkale me Vavartem, the one that learns out from Havartem that the father inherits if there's no daughter. If there's no son and there's no daughter, hi she'eroi my ovidle. What does he do with ki'im le she'eroi akarav elav? Mibayle le kedesanya, he uses that which we learn in Abraisa. She'eroi zu ishtoi. She'eroi means your close fresh. Uh, a wife is the closest fresh to her husband because ishtoi kegufai. And it's telling us that. Uh, a, wa- a, a, fa- a husband inherits a, a wife. Le- ke- t- the Tanya zu e- e- she'erai zu ishtai. 
Lamed Shabal Yorish his sister. A husband inherits his wife. Now, um, Berish, I'll take a little bit more of this. Please. Says the Gemara, Ulaman de Nafkele Mesha Eirai, and the one who learns out a father inherits from She'erai, Hai Vahavartem Mai Ovidle. What do we learn when it says Vahavartem Es Nachalos of the Bita? It should have just said, if you mean like Ben, Onesatem Es Nachalos of the Bita. Why does it use the word Havara to pass over by a daughter? Oh, that's because. The only one who inherits that causes the, the Yerusha to go outside of the Shevet is a daughter. Because when a daughter inherits, she could be married to a husband from another Shevet. And when she dies, either her husband from the other Shevet will inherit her, or her son, which is from the husband Shevet, will inherit her. Mibayle le Kedesanya, Rebbe Aymer, Mikula Nema Behen Nesina. By all the other Yerushas, it says, thank you, Vinasan. And here, by a daughter, it says, Havara. Vika Nema Behen Havara. She'ein loch shema v'nachalom m'shevet l'shevet. There's no one that inherits and causes the inheritance to pass out of the tribe, El Abbas. Why? Because, let's say she's from Shevet Yehuda. And she marries a husband from Shevet Yisachar. When she dies, her son, who is from Shevet Yisachar, because it goes after the father, or her husband will inherit her. Because, says, well, how did you know, according to the first pshat, that Sheiroi is a father? Is Sheiroi being a wife? That makes sense. As I said, she's close to flesh to her husband, Ishtay Kagufai. But why would we say She'erai is an of? Says the Gemara, Umamai de She'erai zeha of. Why is She'erai your father? Says the Gemara, Says the Gemara, Why is She'erai your father? Because the Gemara says, Dixiv She'erai In another place in my Yikra it says She'erai Icha. Eima She'erai Maybe it's referring to the mother, Dixiv She'erai. Imchai, it's the share of a mother, says the Gemara. Well, we know that it, it, the disease is not inherited by the mother because from his family, Mishpachas of Kriya Mishpacha, the family of the father is considered Mishpacha, Mishpachas Amen and Kriya Mishpacha, Dixiv the Mishpachaisam the Beis Avoisam. Says the Gemara, wait a second, that's confusing. O Mishpachas Amen and Kriya Mishpacha. Vaksiv. Now this is taking us to the sad story of the Pesel Micha, the idol of Micha, which crossed the Yamsuf. And in charge of the idol of Micha was a young man, we'll see his name was Yohaneson. Now it says, Yehuda. It was a youth from Beis Lechem, Yehuda, Mimishpachas Yehuda, from the family of Yehuda, Vuhu Levi, and he was a Levi, Vuhu Garsham, and he dwelled there. So now that's a, what does it mean that he's from Yehuda and from Levi? It's an internal contradiction. But then it says, So must be, The father is from Levi, or the mother is from Yehuda. So you see that Mishpacha's aim is also Mishpacha. Says the well, no. The father is from Yehuda. Why do we call him Levi? Not because he's from the tribe of Levi, but because his name is Levi. Says the Gemara. I'm a rabbi by Rav Khan and Loi. He's from Yehuda. And Gavr Dishmei Levi. He's a man who's named Levi. That Micha says, Ati Yadati. Now I know, Kiyetish Hashem Li. Kihoyo Li Halevi Likayim. 
I know that Hashem favors me because I have a Levi as a Kayin, as the priest of Pesel Micha. Now, if it's Shevet Levi, that's what he was happy with. But if it, his name was Levi, what does it mean? So the Gemara says, no, in, it, mean, it meant I know that Hashem is good to me. So I have such a, because I have such a dedicated priest whose name is Levi. In this drama, Le Gavra, the Shmei Levi. Says, well, but that's not a good shot because his name wasn't Levi. His name was Yohaneson. The Chi Levi Shmei, Valo Yohaneson Shmei. She name of Yohaneson ben Gershon ben Menashe, who of Bonav, he and his children, how you kahanim l'shevet adonim. We'll see that the Don took him uh, away from Pesel Micha. So the Gemara says, yeah, what do you mean that he was Yohaneson ben Gershon ben Menashe? Amaleel Taimech v'chi ben Menashe who? Actually, he was a grandson of Moshe Rabbeinu. Says the Gemara, "Valay ben Moshe, the chsib ben Moshe Gershem veliezer." So this Gershem was a son of Moshe Rabbeinu. He was a grandson of Moshe Rabbeinu, not a grandson of Menashe. But rather, since he was serving idolatry, elamitoshe asa meisem Menashe. Menashe also was a wicked man who served idolatry. Tala kosev ben Menashe, and Hachanami. Really, he was from Shevet Levi. Then why do we say Mishpachas Yehuda? Yehuda. The uh, hangs him on Yehuda. Says Gemara, Amar Reb Yaisi Mishim Reb Shimon Ben Yochai. Reb Yaisi says the name Reb Shimon Ben Yochai. We can't shit toilin as a kalkala be mekolkal. We. Attach a sinner to a sinner. Because he sinned and served idolatry, we attached him to Menashe, who was idolatrous. It says about Adonio, who was the son of David and tried to usurp David's throne. Uh, he was very, very handsome. But also Yolda, and she had him. Achrei Avshalom. Achar Avshalom. Achrei Avshalom. After Avshalom. But that's very difficult. Because Adonio and Avshalom had different mothers. Valoi Adonio ben Chagis was the son of Chavis. Vavshalom ben Macha. And Avshalom was the son of Macha. And we took Shosemais Avshalom since Adonio did like Avshalom. Avshalom rebelled against his father. And Adonio did the same. The Mord Bamalchus. Tala kosev Avshalom. The pasuk attached him to Avshalom. Amar Rabbi Lazar. Rabbi Isai, I would, I would slow down a little bit, but you know. Marshall is on a very hard clock, you know. Is he still here? Or maybe we lost him already. Um, now, uh, so I could slow down. Amar Abelazer, La'ilam yidbak adam A person should always attach himself to good. Shari Moshe shenasa bas Yitzray. No, Moshe Rabbeinu that married the daughter of Yisro, who was originally Kayanayin, a priest of idolatry. Later he would, of course, convert and become righteous. But Yatsim Imenu Yohaneson, he had a grandchild who served idolatry. Aaron, Shinasa Bas Aminadav, Aaron who married the daughter of uh, Aminadav. Right, Nachshon ben Aminadav, big tzaddik, Yatsumi men of Pinchas. They had Pinchas. Says Gemara, but Pinchas also descended from Yitzchak. Or Pinchas loved me Yitzchak. See, Vaksiv veLoza ben Aaron, Eloza the son of Aaron, Lokach loy mi bnois Putiel loy Lisha. He took from the daughters of Putiel as a wife. 
And Putiel is my love to Osim Yisrael, that she descended from Yisrael, Shepite my Golem Lavoidizar, who at one time fattened calves for Avoidizar. Lloyd Osim Yosef, no. She descended from Yosef, she had pit bait be Yitzra. He combated his Yitzra. But it's not true. Pinchas, we know, did have a pedigree attached to Yitzra. Vale Shvatim Vazin Yitzra. When he killed, uh, when he killed Cosby uh, and Zimri, the Nasi of, of Shimon, the Shvatim shamed him and said, ben You see this son of the Puti, Ben Shepitim Avi Imay Agolum Lavoidazar, the one who the father of his mother fattened calves to idolatry, and Yarag Nasi shaved me Yisrael, and he kills a priest from Yisrael. Ela I de Imay Mi Yosef, if the father of his mother was from Yosef, then the mother of his mother was from Yitzray. And if the father of his mother was from Yitzray, in other words, he descended both from Yosef and Yitzray. Putiel is plural. Putiel is tartesh. But it's no question because the uh, genealogy uh, from Yisro was much further and therefore it didn't affect Eliezer having Pinchas. While Moshe Rabbeinu married the daughter of Yisro and that, that Yisro was once idolatrous, had an impact and caused him to have a grandson that would uh, serve idolatry. We're just going to pause a minute to change the channel over here.